the... What are you doing? Oh, hey, Tanner. I'm training my forearms because I got a weak grip. What'd you think I was doing? It looked like you were jerking. Ugh. You know what? It doesn't matter what I thought you were doing. What the hell is that thing? Oh, this? This is a TheraBand flex bar. Really? Because it looks like a big green dild. Actually, never mind what it looks like. But you're never gonna build big, strong forearms playing with that thing. Not? So how do I strengthen my forearms? <sighs> Just watch this video and I'll show you. It's Tanner Shuck from TrueStrength.co. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my top five exercises to build strong forearms and an iron grip. The best part, you can do these exercises at most every gym with standard equipment. And I guarantee most of you have never tried or even thought of these exercises before. Also, make sure to stick around to the end of the video because I saved my favorite exercise for last. Number one, the do-it-yourself wrist roller. If you've ever seen one of those old school wrist rollers, this is similar to that, but even better. All you need is a barbell, a band, and a kettlebell or dumbbell. First loop the band through the handle of the kettlebell, then make sure you have a counterweight on the other side of the barbell to avoid it tipping off the rack. Then loop the band and kettlebell through the end of the band over the kettlebell and remove any slack from the band. And boom, you've got yourself a barbell wrist roller. Not only can you make this wrist roller almost anywhere with standard gym equipment, it better isolates the flexor and extensor muscles in the forearm since the bar rests in the rack, eliminating shoulder fatigue. Make sure to train both wrist flexion and wrist extension with the wrist roller so you can hit the bottom, the flexor muscles, and the top, the extensor muscles of the forearm. Personally, I like to alternate between reps of extension and flexion for as many reps as possible until I reach perfect form failure. One full rep being from the ground until the kettlebell reaches the top of the barbell. Two to three sets to failure and trust your forearms will be pumped. Number two, heavy farmer's carries. Definitely one of the most effective ways to increase grip strength. And what's more simple than picking up two heavy ass weights and carrying them for as long or as far as possible. I love training heavy farmer's carries because not only do they improve the forearm and grip strength, they also hit your traps incredibly well. Now, should you do heavy or light farmer's carries? The short answer, do both. Heavy farmer's carries without straps are ideal for grip strength and lighter farmer's carries are great for grip endurance. Hey guys, Tanner works really hard on these YouTube videos, so guys like us don't have to be skinny, fat, pencil neck, pot belly punks. So make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Number three, plate pinches. I love plate pinches to specifically train your finger, hand, and forearm strength. Plate pinches work best with thick Olympic style plates with a uniform design and plate thickness. 25 to 35 pound plates are a great place to start for most people, but if you're really strong, you can even do them with 45 or 55 pound plates. I recommend three to five sets for max distance until you can no longer hold onto the plate. But another great place to train plate pinches is during all your other workouts when you're loading or unloading your barbell. Small short sets add up over time and will definitely improve your grip strength. Number four, body weight dead hangs. These are undoubtedly the most simple and overlooked way to strengthen your grip. Seriously, when was the last time you just hung from a bar for as long as possible? This exercise can be done anywhere you can hang from and requires basically zero equipment. Any dead hang that's over two minutes is strong. And if you're really strong, you can perform weighted hangs or single arm hangs. But I would say the ultimate strength grip test would be a weighted single arm dead hang. Please don't try these if you're a beginner. This variation will be best for advanced lifters only. Four sets of 30 seconds of a body weight dead hang is a great place to start for most people. Hey, today's video is brought to you by Transparent Labs. So if you wanna get the highest quality supplements at the most affordable price, while also directly supporting me, use discount code TANNER to save today. And last, but certainly not least, my favorite way to strengthen my forearms are towel pull-ups. Ever seen a guy that could crush pull-ups with skinny arms? I didn't think so. While the towel pull-up could be considered a lat exercise, you'll actually feel it the most in your hands, forearms, and biceps. Another reason to love this exercise is the versatility. No real need for a gym or even a pull-up bar. Just hang a towel over any sturdy attachment point, such as a gymnastic ring, a roof truss, or even a tree limb. I prefer the gymnastic ring so your head doesn't have to dodge the bar every rep. But any variation of a towel pull-up are gonna crush your forearms. Train for three to five sets of five to 10 reps ideally. So my top five forearm exercises to build an iron grip. The do-it-yourself wrist roller, farmer's carries, plate pinches, body weight dead hangs, and towel pull-ups. I guarantee if you wouldn't start incorporating these exercises into your routine, you're gonna build some incredibly strong forearms in no time. And don't forget, if you need help with your training, try my Straight Up Strength program for free at truestrength.co or in the description below. 
And if you enjoyed the video and want to support me and my cameraman, John, please click on the support me link in the description or click the super thanks button where you can leave us a virtual tip. How do you like to train your forearms? Let me know in the comments below and what topics you want to see me cover in the future. Also, check out these videos. And if you haven't already, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you never miss another video. And remember, don't just be strong, be truly strong. Because a weak man has a weak grip and a strong man has a strong grip. So don't have a weak grip.